Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of a medication called Journey PM, known by its generic name, methylphenidate hydrochloride. As with all our discussions, this is meant for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always reach out to a medical professional. Description Journey PM, a brand name for methylphenidate hydrochloride, is a central nervous system stimulant used primarily to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, in children and adults. Unlike other ADHD medications, Journey PM is unique because it is designed to be taken in the evening. This extended release formulation allows the medication to start working early the next morning, providing symptom control throughout the day. Approved by the FDA in 2018, it helps increase attention and decrease impulsiveness and hyperactivity in patients diagnosed with ADHD. This innovative timing mechanism can be particularly beneficial for those who struggle with morning routines and early day symptoms. Warnings Journey PM comes with its set of precautions. It has a potential for abuse and dependence, similar to other stimulant medications. It's crucial to monitor for signs of abuse and dependence while on this medication. Additionally, it should not be used in patients with marked anxiety, tension, or agitation, as it may exacerbate these conditions. It is also contraindicated in patients with glaucoma, a family history of Tourette syndrome, or motor tics. Patients should not take Journey PM if they are currently on, or have used an MAOI, monoamine oxidase inhibitor, in the past 14 days, due to the risk of hypertensive crisis. Before taking this medicine. Before starting Journey PM, several factors need consideration. It's essential to inform your healthcare provider if you have any allergies to methylphenidate or any other components of the medication. Patients with a history of heart problems, high blood pressure, or mental health issues, such as bipolar disorder or depression, should discuss potential risks and benefits with their doctor. If you're pregnant, planning a pregnancy, or breastfeeding, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider. Regular monitoring of growth in children and adolescents is advised, as stimulants can potentially slow growth rates. You should not take Journey PM if you have a known hypersensitivity to methylphenidate or other components of the drug. It's also important to inform your doctor if you have any history of heart disease, high blood pressure, mental health disorders, or a family history of sudden death or ventricular arrhythmia. Before starting the medication, inform your doctor if you have ever had seizures, abnormal EEGs, or if you have a history of substance abuse. It's also essential to let your healthcare provider know if you have any liver or kidney problems or if you take other medications that might interact with Journey PM. Side Effects All medications can have side effects, and Journey PM is no exception. Common side effects include insomnia, decreased appetite, headache, stomach pain, and irritability. Some individuals might experience increased blood pressure and heart rate. It's essential to be aware of these potential side effects and consult your doctor if you experience any unusual symptoms. Additionally, there's a risk of more serious side effects, such as priapism, prolonged and painful erections, which requires immediate medical attention. Another potential serious side effect is the onset of new or worsening psychiatric symptoms, such as hallucinations, delusions, or mania. Patients should also be aware of the potential for circulation problems in fingers and toes, peripheral vasculopathy, including Raynaud's phenomenon. If you notice any signs of unexplained wounds, pain, or skin color changes in your fingers or toes, contact your doctor immediately. Furthermore, methylphenidate may cause visual disturbances, such as blurred vision, and may also trigger severe allergic reactions. It's important to seek immediate medical help if you experience symptoms such as swelling, rash, or difficulty breathing. Always consult your doctor for medical advice about side effects and report any new or unusual symptoms. Interactions Journey PM might interact with other medications. It's of utmost importance to inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you're currently taking to avoid any adverse interactions. Notably, it should not be taken with MAO inhibitors or within 14 days of stopping such treatment due to the risk of serious interactions. Dosage Correct dosage is vital for the effectiveness of any medication. Always adhere to your doctor's recommendations when taking Journey PM. Regular monitoring and periodic checkups can help ensure the drug's efficacy and safety. Journey PM is typically taken once daily in the evening. The timing is crucial, as taking it too late may lead to difficulty falling asleep. 
The recommended starting dose for Journey PM is usually 20 mg once daily in the evening. Your doctor may adjust the dose weekly in increments of 20 mg, based on response and tolerability. The maximum recommended dose is 100 mg per day. Always ensure you're taking the correct dose and never alter your dosage without consulting your healthcare provider. Avoid. While on Journey PM, it's advisable to avoid alcohol, as it can interfere with the extended release mechanism of the medication and increase the risk of adverse effects. Additionally, be cautious when engaging in activities that require alertness until you know how the medication affects you, as it can cause dizziness or drowsiness. FAQ Many wonder about the age restrictions for Journey PM. Currently, it is approved for use in patients aged 6 years and older. The safety and effectiveness in individuals younger than 6 have not been established. It's always best to consult with a healthcare provider for any specific queries related to this medication. Closing That wraps up our overview of Journey PM. Remember, this information aims to educate and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for tuning in.